All right, before everyone freaks out by the title of this video, you know, just give me a chance for a second, hear me out. Now, I like to hang around in the Bloomon community group on Facebook. It's a place where a bunch of hair and style enthusiasts come together. They share hairstyles and outfits, ask for advice, give advice, and overall, just have a good time talking men's lifestyle. In fact, if any of that sounds like you, I'd say go ahead, join that community today. I've got it linked down below, the Facebook, the Bloomon community Facebook group. But every now and again, the Bloom on community sparks ideas in my head and uh, that's kind of where this video is coming from today. I've seen a growing trend of guys looking for the most matte products that they can find. It's understandable. The matte finish look makes your hair look natural. Uh, it's very on trend for the summer season to go for that messier hairstyle. I mean, I've got a matte finish messy hairstyle going on myself, but how matte is too matte? And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Tell you what, I'll tell you how matte and bit. I don't know why my accent changes. See, my favorite type of product, someone could share it with you right now. See, my favorite type of products have a good balance between being matte finish, but also having a bit of a natural shine to them. And I'm gonna expand on the reasons for this further, but a good example of what I'm talking about is our upcoming Monarch Matte Paste with the Mr. Mr. Lion right over there. Check it. Ow. I teased this product for the very first time in last Monday's Skin Fade video, uh, and I'm just so excited to get this out there. It's not long now, I promise. So something that was really important to me and the Blue Mon team was to be able to create a product that gave a, you know, a good amount of hold, a nice natural finished look, but was also creamy and really easy to apply. Trust me, from my experience with my hair product company, finding out how to get that balance between having a good amount of hold hold and a product that is easy to apply is not the easiest thing to do. But revision after revision, I think that we've got something that ticks both those boxes. This is one of the easiest products I've ever used, and I think it's a great example of the Bloomon evolution of product. Finding that correct balance between ease of use in terms of application and giving you significant control over your hairstyle as well. I'm really happy with the outcome of this product. I think it's perfect for anyone who wants something that's easy to use, gives a nice textured finish and a hair style that looks natural and we're running a giveaway right now so if you head to the link in the description there's gonna be three people who win one year supply of monarch matte paste and another five people who win one jar of monarch matte paste so if you want a chance to win some products go ahead check out that giveaway link in the description of this video it's the first link down there now, I mentioned that monarch gives a textured but natural look even though it is a matte finished product and that's kind of what I wanted to expand on today so here's the situation with matte finish oftentimes if you get a product that is really matte finish um, you're gonna be left with more of a dry effect than a natural looking effect hair naturally usually looks on the more softer side. And with the right products, you should be able to retain or even enhance this soft look that allows you to restyle your hair or if it starts to flatten a little, you should be able to reposition it and have it malleable enough to put back in place. The problem with overly matte products is that drying effect that I mentioned. If you have a product that actually makes your hair look dry and it sucks out all of that moisture, you're left with hair that feels way more brittle and kind of straw-like. And what happens is you end up with way more flyaways and frizz, and that's obviously all stuff that you're wanting to avoid. I've got two examples for you. Gatsby's Grunge Matte and Hans de Fuko's Quicksand, which I have, but I don't know where it is right now. I did a full review on Gatsby's products, so if you want to check out either this one or, or a couple of the others, uh, you can check that out right up here. But my main complaint was that this is such a matte product that it ends up creating that dry effect that we've been talking about. Now, if you are a guy who just really loves matte products, then, you know, pretty good option. But after using this product, I noticed that my hair doesn't stay as put together as well, even though the hold is decent, and that's because matte products have a harder time keeping your hair under control, or at least overly matte product. But when it comes to frizz, for my hair type, quicksand is just an insane frizz beast. Uh, if I try to use quicksand on dry hair, it just makes my hair super poofy, the flyaways go crazy. However, when I use quicksand as a pre-styler, there are actually some benefits, and this brings me to the exceptions of overly matte finish products. Products that are super matte can be beneficial in pre-stylers, like I just mentioned, in order to, you know, um, fix up second day hair, absorb some excess oil. Also, 
Also dry shampoos and texture powders work really well by being very matte. And this is because in these scenarios, overly matte products can be used to absorb excess oil and restore a balanced look, making your hair look natural and not overly dry. Now, the good thing is that if you are dealing with overly drying products, uh, you can often counteract this dryness by either picking up a hair oil like argan oil or something that I'm using to make my hair softer is Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum. If you've been around at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum. If you've got a dry product, just use something like this during your pre-styling, so I'd use this and then Original. Basically, you want something that provides some hydration, or in my case, using Super Skinny Serum to add a lot of silky softness. And yeah, if you guys wanna experience you know, some softer hair, some hair that is more easily controlled, this stuff helps you do that. You can find this in the link down below. But I've got some more examples for you. I'm not finished yet. Josh, are there the products over there. Yeah, that's one, one and two. Send them over. One, two. See, we're developing another product and this is later down the line. So no specific shall be given yet, but I've got two different samples of the same product. Two separate samples leading to one product eventually. We'll call this one sample A and we got this one in first. When I tried this out, I thought that it was great. It's matte finish, but it does have a bit of a natural shine element to it as well. But because we can, we asked the lab to just create us an even more matte finish sample. And that's what this is. We'll call this sample B. And yes, B is more matte, but I found the same problems I've underlined above to be happening here as well. In one sense, due to that matteness, Technically B has a little bit more hold than A, but it's not really constructive hold. It actually makes it harder for me to manage and control my hair. And after my hair you know, flattens down a bit, which will inevitably happen throughout the day, it's not as easy to put back into place because it's more rigid, it's more dry, it's more straw-like. And that's when comparing it to something like sample A, which is not as matte finish, but way more malleable and easier to use. So guys, was there a point to this video? I think so. I was just sharing my thoughts about overly matte finished products. Uh, once again, giveaways going on for Monarch. You can find that out in the description down below. Join the Blue Mon community if you haven't. Smash that, smash that smash button with the thumbs up stick. And I'll see everybody. Subscribe. I'll see everybody next time.